Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, Unity Basics tutorial. Uh, in today we're going to cover play and edit mode. Let's get started. Um, so play mode is when you're running your game and you can control that through this big play button here unsurprisingly and there's a pause button which will pause you and there's a step button which will will step you through each of the uh, steps of the animations and and unity itself so if we press play we'll see what happens this will jump to the view of the camera so this is if i was in play mode this is exactly what i would see uh, i'm in mixed i'm in virtual reality here so if i get my headset you can see i'm able to look around and this will this represents what i would be able to see in my headset the nice thing about play mode is you're able to manipulate the scene but not worry about what you actually do to your um application so if we're in play mode here you'll notice in the game view that i'm unable to select anything that's uh because this is the play mode not the edit window so if we jump into our scene window here let me let me put the game window down here just so you can see what's going on in the game window as well we're able to while we're still in play mode do many sort of things to this so if we select this paint bucket here and want to duplicate that we can create multiples of these buckets um, and we don't have to worry about what we're doing to our hierarchy we can delete things altogether so if we delete all these that's only deleting like a live play version of that object it's not deleting it from your scene or anything so once we press play again to stop the game you'll see all these things pop back and everything stays um, as it was before we ran the game now this is really useful for i use this quite a lot for moving objects around so let, let's do a quick example of, of what i would do with this so let's i'm just going to create a, a sphere here and move this up so this is where it starts but maybe i want to see what happens when this drops through space using the physics engine inside unity and then i want to place the object wherever it lands so i'm just going to place this over here and we'll add a rigid body now don't worry about this too much we'll, we'll cover uh, over these later but rigid bodies essentially applies physics to this object so now if we press play we should see this ball react to physics which you can see there it's dropped down and it's it's hit something at the bottom and it's stopped moving so while I'm in play mode I'm able to move this around and you can see what, what's happening to it and I use this for let's say I want to place this sphere wherever it lands on the floor so I want all the physics to calculate but I want it to be there at the end so the under this transform here I can right click and copy this component now that's copied where it is right now but when we come out of play you can see it's up here so I want this to be in the position that ends so I can right click on transform and paste those component values now that's placed that exactly where it would have done uh, once the physics is run and that's useful for if I've got say a pile of bricks that I want to place down I can set up all these bricks put physics on them allow them to drop and then copy and paste those transforms and then I'll get quite a realistic pile of bricks uh, which has reacted to the physics in the engine the other nice thing about these is if I press um, let me just move this sphere back up so we can see if we press play and then pause so we're able to pause this and, and the, the physics calculations have stopped if we unpause you can see the continue and this step button will step you through each step of the physics I don't actually use this too often I tend to play and uh, pause ever so often but really I just use this for play so that's it really that's your play pause and step through hope that was useful and we'll see you shortly